Not this time. Not this time. They huddled under umbrellas, dealing with pouring rain. But for this cause, they keep fighting. If a person has been hurt, if your family member has been killed unjustly, we will go and fight for you. They're here to honor Billy Langfit. Listen, it's overwhelming. Billy should be here. Billy was killed by a Pierce County Sheriff's deputy in March after he jumped into his patrol car. Loved ones say he was having a mental health crisis and they called 911 for help. Understand that these people need help and whatever kind of training there is available, get out there and make that available to the officers so we can trust and feel safe that when we call for help, that this is not going to be the type of result. They want more training, more involvement with mental health professionals. We get to say, you know what, I'm a counselor, I'm not a police officer. I don't really care necessarily what you did or didn't do. People like Susie Kroll. I've had some significant training with law enforcement and then I'm also a hostage tra negotiator trained. So there is a lot of de-escalation techniques and tools given in those types of trainings. Kroll works with multiple departments responding alongside officers when someone is in crisis. This is the future of law enforcement um, without a doubt. In Bothell she helps in emergency situations but also does follow up. It's the default to call 911 so we had one um, lady that we were working with and she had called the police department or 911 like 60 times within I think a two or three week period. Um, those calls don't come in anymore. That individual is now plugged into uh, counseling services. Officers in the department have embraced her help and advice. That's a huge win for, for cops because that's really what the ultimate goal is, is, you know, we're, we're trying to help people out there. And we see such amazing results when you have um, mental health professionals embedded with law enforcement so that when they go out, they're actually able to quickly ascertain what the real problem is. There is hope. Back at the rally, State Center Monka Dingra says they're expanding funding for the use of mental health professionals with police. They want them in every department, bringing together those who need help and those who have come to help them. Amy Marino, King 5 News.